Good morning, everybody. I just got back in from the beach. We were out there a couple of hours with Marley. I'm teaching her how to heal and stay. She doesn't sit. She won't sit, but stay. She'll stand there. Um, so I'm a little mess, but I thought I should get this out before I... I usually don't tell you about too much drama, you know, um, but there was a little bit on this trip and it surprised me a lot. It really did. Um, I had known about this casino and Jason would take me, um, you know, at Christmas, maybe my birthday, we'd go to the casino. Um, I like to go in, but I, I don't have the money. So, you know, and so he, for my birthday, he'd give me so much to spend and we'd go to the casino and we always walked out with money or gifts or something. Anyway, so I get sidetracked. So, um, Mary's coming to meet me and I said, you like casinos because I know they can you can spend the night at this one and it's a beautiful beautiful casino and you can get a massage and um, all kinds of good food all kinds of variety of food it's enormous it's enormous and have a golf course everything you could ever want you know rooms you know food. I don't know what the price of the rooms are you know um, but just a fabulous place fabulous place so, I said, she was coming from somewhere. I don't know where she was coming from, Barry S. or someplace. And um, I said, so, uh, do you mind, you know, we could spend the night in the casino. We could meet there in the parking lot. And we could stay at this casino. It's a beautiful casino. We could go in and we could eat. You know, so, um, and if you want a massage, Mary likes massages. I said, you could get a massage. So, we're all excited. And um, we leave the next, that was like the day before. And I was, I was running a little bit ahead of her. She was coming from somewhere and I was coming from somewhere anyway. So she said, I'm, I'm stopping at, at the store. I said, okay, you know, she needed a few things. So I got there ahead of her, you know. I mean, you never just meet perfectly. And, um, I went to the back parking lot. I really wasn't sure where to park to spend the night. I knew they had a steep hill and up there were a lot of RVs and stuff. I thought that was it, but I don't really like to go up that steep hill. So, I, uh, I mean, I've never been up it, okay? I just don't like going up steep hills, so you know. <laughs> so, um, I went to the farthest corner, the first parking lot, the farthest corner. There was a tree and and dirt and you know nice little area and I thought well this is a nice little area to walk Marley so I get Marley out Marley and I weren't out three minutes and here comes a security car patrol you know they all have their patrols and uh, slowly drove past me and I'm thinking oh I better ask her if we can spend the night I never called I never did anything um, I had heard from somebody, you know, you could spend the night. And I, I had been there with Jason, you know, um, a couple of times. We haven't even been for two years, but there for a while, he would bring me a couple times a year. So I had seen the RVs at the top. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So um, I digress. <laughs> so I'm walking Marley, and I'm thinking, oh, I should ask this person something. So they do a little... Yui right in front of me almost and as they start to go past me again I go excuse me excuse me and um, I wanted to verify everything I said excuse me I have a question to ask so it was a woman and she gets out and um, I said I'm sorry but are we allowed to stay in specific areas for the night is there a specific area and she goes well you won't be allowed to stay at all I said excuse me she goes, yes, we do have areas where you can spend the night. However, no animals are allowed on our property. You need to leave immediately. And I'm like, because she's getting ready to stop. I just threw up my hand and called her. And I mean, she was very nice. I said, well, what do you mean? She goes, well, I was trying to be nice and let you let your dog potty, but I was going to stop. Um, we have cameras. They have cameras everywhere. Upper management wants you to move immediately. And I said, well, that's really hard to do. I'm meeting someone here. Would it be all right if I stay here for another few minutes? She's at a grocery store. She'll be here. We're, we're meeting up. She's from Alaska. So we're meeting up. 
would you mind? And she goes, no, but I'll, I'll let them know. I'll let them know what you're doing. So I, I'm sitting there maybe 10 minutes. Here she comes again. And she goes, um, upper management, upper security has said, I've tried to explain to them that you're just waiting, but you're waiting too long. We really need you to leave. I understand what you're doing. You're waiting for a friend. And she goes, but management really wants you off the property. We don't allow animals on the property. It is a very big thing with security. So as she's talking, all of a sudden on the main road, I see uh, Mary go, oh, oh, there she is, there she is. I'll leave in just a few minutes. So Mary pulls in, I tell Mary what's going on. Well, I had texted her already. I said, what's going on? I gotta get out of here. They're kicking me out. And uh, Mary shows up and she goes, no problem. She goes, I said, well, why don't you just walk in and see what it's like inside? It's very pretty, uh, you know, if you wanna get some food or whatever. And I picked out a, a truck stop. <laughs> Instead of a nice, really nice casino parking lot, we're going to a truck stop. And um, I started to put the stuff into my phone, the directions for this truck stop. And, I'm, and then I start to back out and here comes security again. I mean, they were so, they wanted me out of that parking lot. I mean, very nice about it. You have to leave. I was really, really amazed. Um, I just didn't even think about Marley being a problem in a parking lot, you know. I don't go in and gamble or anything. I just wanted to spend the night. Not happening. Not, they don't want the animals there at all. And I said, what about service animals? We will accept service animals. That's the only thing. And not um, a real service animal. I forget what they call the other, uh, the other one. Emotional service camp. No, they, that's not allowed. And they don't have to allow it. And I said, yeah, but I was in a housing unit and um, they moved in with this emo emotional service dog. And she said, housing is forced to accept them. We are not. We can take service animals, nothing else. So they don't want the animals being left. Somebody's a real gambler leaving their animal in the car for 24 hours with no way of eating, sleep. You know what I'm saying? So I just thought I would tell you. I never tell you about drama. I thought you might be interested in this one. This was real drama. For me, anyway, I've never been kicked out of anything. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Camel.